Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Giggy's Kitchen. Today we will be making pork tamales. We will be using one bundle of corn husk and soaking them into water. Then set three pounds of boneless pork shoulder into a crock pot. For the seasonings, we will be using one and a half tablespoon of salt and one bay leaf. Fill the crock pot with water halfway just above the meat. Let's add the salt and the bay leaf to the meat. The crock pot temperature is set on high and we will cook the meat for three and a half hours. For the chile, we will be using a pot, a fine mesh strainer, solid and a slotted spoon, a blender, and a bowl. Our ingredients to make the chile will be one and a half ounces of chile de arbol, one pound of chile guayillo, three tablespoons of tomato bouillon with chicken flavor, and two tablespoons of cumin. Start with the chile de arbol and place it into the pot. After removing the stems, add the guayillo to the pot. Fill the pot with water above the chiles and place it onto the stove and let the chiles boil for 20 minutes. It's time to remove the chiles from the pot and place it into the blender. Add water to the maximum line of the blender. Pour the chile into the mesh strainer above a mixing bowl. Give the chile a stir or tap the strainer to help separate the sauce from the seeds. When finished, pour the chile into a pot, add the tomato bouillon and the cumin. Bring the chile to a light simmer for 7 minutes, stirring occasionally. The pork meat is now finished. Remove it from the crock pot and set the broth aside. At this time, let's shred the pork and discard the fat. Pour the broth into a mesh strainer above a bowl. For the masa, we will be using one and one third cups of manteca, two and a half cups of broth from the meat, three cups of maseca flour, one teaspoon of baking powder. Pour the manteca and broth into the mixing bowl. Add the maseca and the baking powder to the liquid mixture. Mix well manually, let the masa rest for 10 minutes. Fill up the steam pot with water right below the steam rack. Use two burners and set for medium heat. We can condense all the food preparations into smaller bowls. These will be the portions needed per tamale. Two tablespoons of chile, one tablespoon of masa, one tablespoon of pork, and to top it off, two tablespoons of chile. Remove a corn husk from the water and spread two tablespoons of chile onto the husk. Press one tablespoon of masa into the chile. Place one tablespoon of pork onto the masa. Top off the pork with two tablespoons of chile. Bring the left flap to the middle, tuck it into the masa, bring over the right, and fold the bottom upwards to close the tamale. After assembling the tamales, place them standing upwards leaning on the side of the pot. Close the lid and let them steam for one hour. Be careful when removing the lid from the steamer. We can remove it on an angle to prevent a burn. Using a pair of tongs, let's place the tamales into a tray. This is the final result for the pork tamale. Please give this recipe a try. Like, subscribe, and comment. Stay tuned in for more. Enjoy!